It doesn't feel like another month has passed, but apparently it has because Amazon has delivered another Marvel Collector Course box. 80 years, so celebrating that 80 years of Marvel still. And I haven't seen anything about this. I have no idea what's inside, so let's crack it open and find out together here. They did tape it, so no way to sneak peek if you wanted to. First thing on top is gonna be a t-shirt, it looks like. And we've got a sticker. Marvel Comics Group, 25 cents. 39 October. It's kinda cool. Coming soon, Marvel Holiday. Uh, I don't really care for Christmas pops, so that's not gonna be a good one for me. There we go. So, one more thing on top, it looks like, before we get to the pops. Ah. Hail Hydra. A Hydra enamel pen. So, sure, yeah, sure. Let's do that first before we get to the pops. See what we actually have. It's just thinking. Box is a little light, but yeah, there was a shirt on top that I've totally almost forgotten already. Green Goblin. So as I've said in the past boxes, I'm not really into the shirts that they supply, but design-wise it's pretty cool. So, not a bad shirt. It fits for October and Halloween coming up, even though I think this is technically the September box. So let's go with the pop on the left first, or actually let's go with the one on the right, because it's 508. Whereas the other one's 509, so we'll go sequentially. It is Loki! So being part of the 80 years, they have that metallic trim around it. And there we have a comic book cover on the back. I love it when they do that. First appearance, Journey into Mystery number 85. Gets us Loki. Let's go ahead and pop him open. The box has like a matte feel to it. It feels a little bit different than a normal box for some reason. You can tell he does have a stand. Well, that's interesting. So he does have a stand, but he has the golden blonde hair flowing around to the back. Is it hair or is it a hood? It's going all around his chin too. I apologize, I'm not a, a Loki buff, so if you know, please share in the comments. And the helmet does have a metallic finish, and it's got some spikes in the top of it, and it's also metallic on his body armor, which is a nice touch too. You can see the feet. The feet there with the Marvel bobble going on as well. And that head is heavy, I'm guessing it's because of the helmet piece, but there's some good weight on that guy. So that's Loki, another beefy pop that's included in this box. Thanos, or the Nos. Same idea on the box, and first appearance is the Invincible Iron Man number 55. This thing is huge. I'm gonna guess that the plastic mold he's in is not very big because the mass of Thanos fills this one. But again, the box has a little mat going on to it. Even his feet are practically busting through the box on it. Big boy, two-piece. Same idea as Loki, it has that gold metallic finish to it. Which I think turns out way better than when they just do an all chrome. I like how you have the matte paint on the blue and then you have the gold on it. And he's got that big grinning grimace with his 500 chins across the bottom. Nice, no infinity gauntlet on this one. Yeah, no stand either, but a deep sounding bobble because of the giant head. And a big old spring on him too. They definitely had to use a beefier spring. So that is this month's Marvel Collector's Cores, Collector Cores box. Let's go ahead and give these two guys a spin. Thanks for watching.